Good morning. How is everybody? It's Friday. Um, all right, so here I go again. I'm always learning and not very quickly. I have one thing to do. And as you're hopping on, say hello, hashtag hello gorgeous. And we are set. <laughs> a little faster this morning. Oh, so guess where I am? I'm back on my regular profile page. Um, lot just said, no, nah, just stay on your, your, your page. And it's true. The other page, all they want to do is sell advertising, sell advertising. So anyway, it's, we are back, back here with you. So as you're hopping on, I'm going to begin by doing my primers, of course. And today I should tell you, um, I'm doing the eye primer. Uh, last night when I got home, I was out, I got my hair done. <laughs> I cut it off. Um, I didn't intend to, but I'm loving it. I mean, I've had this, this is a, a, not a new style for me. I've had short hair pretty much all my life and I was wanting to grow it long, but I used to have thick hair and as it's thinning and it's depressing, first of all, it was thinning because of stress and then it's thinning because of age. And so um, I just didn't want to have long hair for the sake of having long hair. And so I just thought, you know what? I can do more. This is gonna be a lot more fun and perky. So now I'm just putting on some mattifying face primer and the reason is I've got, everybody usually has especially the more pores concentrated in this area. So I like to concentrate in those areas and um, it will smooth things out. It's going to fill in um, all of those fine lines. It's, it's a makeup issue. It's not a skin issue. So it will make it smooth so that you have a, your, your makeup isn't going to settle into the pores. And that's often what happens is it, uh, especially as your internal, um, you know, sweat glands or oils produce, and that's going to cause the makeup to separate. And then you're going to see all these pores. But with when you've got this barrier there, then it, you're not going to get that. So it's going to improve the look that you want. So I'm just going to put a little bit more. And so today we are... I had a plan to do, I guess I don't use much on my forehead, um, to do another cream shadow or liquid eyeshadow. I was going to do ornate with the, the metallic. It's so pretty, but I had to do a quick switcheroonie because we have a comeback. Um, Palette 6 is a customer favorite. It's, so last month it was part of the Kudos the promotion um, because they're retiring it or it is retired so when it was all done they they ended up having a little bit of a inventory left and so that's what I'm going to see palette number six um, featuring today because when the stock is gone it's gone and honestly this is probably well, it is. It's the customer favorite. It is a beautiful palette. Um, just wondering if I should angle this down a bit more. It's a rose gold palette. So that means it will go with neutral, um, cool tones, warm tones. It's, you can, it's, you can do it really neutral, super, super neutral, or you can glam it up. This is the perfect palette to take if you're traveling and going anywhere. And I'm going to show you just how versatile it is. Well, I'm only gonna do one look today, but I'm gonna show you one more little thing you can do with this. So I'm starting with my eyes because if you have any fallout on your face, then I can, I can clean it up when I do my foundation. So, and in today's bundle, or in that I put to, with you today, I included, um, this palette and the the liner the mascara the eye primer and the lips and i've got another comeback with you in the lips today but i also did one uh, for the brushes and the these are the the best like 
the most used eye brushes that I use. And so I thought you should have them. So I'm going to start with this beautiful palette. And I'm going to go in with, as a transition color, with Enthralled. And so that's this one right here. So we're going to start with that as our transition color. I'm so anxious to get... Hey, Shelly. I'm so glad you found me. I'm back. Back on my normal profile page. So I'm just doing the palette, the beloved palette six. It's back in stock only. I mean, it's not back in stock. It is, they found a bit more inventory. And so once it's gone, it's gone. So if you wanted this palette and believe me, you do grab it while you can. So I'm starting with Enthralled as my transition color. And I'm just going to, I can hardly wait to get, I, I thought I was going to be filming from my new spot by the windows uh my desk came after um hello gorgeous after my last um so i'm just going to do a swipe right here and then i'm going to blend it in um the desk arrived last afternoon when i was um and I wasn't expecting it that soon. And so I started taking it all apart and I thought we would be in the uh, in my new location. And when I got all of the pieces out of the box and lined up, I took the top and I went and it wouldn't fit. And I was just sick. So now I'm having to get a custom made desk, which is going to triple the cost. So I'm just blending it out with the blending brush and uh, I did a switcheroonie because I was going to do another liquid shadow look, but when this came in, I thought, no, I have. If, this is the chance to get it because it's retired, and they won't be bringing it in anymore. I'm sure they're going to be coming up with some new colors, but this is such a beautiful palette. And so I'm going back in with Enthralled for the other side. So I'm just starting with the outer, outer corner, and then I'm going to blend it in. So the desk I ordered was really cute too, so I'm just anxious to get it all set up. Um, you know, it's interesting. For the um, Hello Gorgeous, I just wanted to share one more thing, why it's the things that we say, but even the things that we think, how they affect our body. And I don't know if you've ever heard of... Um, where did I write it down? Oh shoot, I was gonna, I wrote it down somewhere to remind myself. Oh, there it is, Emoto, there's all my notes. <laughs> His name, it's a, it's a Japanese um, doctor or scientist. Hey gorgeous, welcome aboard. Um, I, I was just talking about how the things that we say and do and even think, how they affect our body and how this, um, Emoto, so Google Emoto water crystals, and he um, did, shows you how he takes some and plays music, classical music, and and then he freezes the water, and and it turns into beautiful crystals. They're like snowflakes, and then he plays acid rock, oh, you know, ugly music, and they turn ugly. The cells, like the, the water molecules, is, is how it affects. And so you think about it, our bodies are 80 per 70 to 80 percent water. So he's showing how even the things that we say or the things that we think, how it affects us. So you need to get a sign that says, hello gorgeous. Um, so now I'm going to go in with, uh, let's see, what am I doing next? The eye. So I'm going to take the the fluffy crease, crease brush. I think that's the one I want. I wrote it out because I'm so nervous and I'm in front of a, of a, a okay, I didn't write it down. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna go in now with Lofty for the eye, for the lid color. Okay, is this the one I want? No, I don't think so. Oh well, yeah. No, this is the one I want. I want this one. I want the deluxe or the 
liner shader brush, just a little more control. So I'm just patting it on my lid and then I have a little bit more control. So the other part of the experiment that he has done, and I, I you know, if you Google this, that uh, is he's taken cooked rice and done the same thing. And so he he has what you do is you take some cooked rice and you put divide it into three, and on the one you put a label on and you say you know talk beautifully too. On the second one you put ignore and on the third one you say talk hatred to. And so that's what you do for a month. Every day you go or two months and one month, two months, however long you want to do this experiment and you go and you talk to this rice. Oh, you are so beautiful. I'm so glad you're in my life. And just talk beautiful to this rice. And on the one of the one that you talk ugly to you're so stupid. You're so ugly. Why are you? E why were you even here? You shouldn't even be alive. You know, just talk horrible words too. And then the third one, you ignore. You never go near it. Never talk to it. And it, it's really interesting because if you Google this, you will get his experiments. But you'll get all of these people said, "Well, that can't be true." So they do it and they video their experimenting. And so what happens at the end of what one month or two months? is the rice that you talked beautiful to is practically still pure white and you could eat it. It's still in excellent shape. The rice that you spoke ugly to, it has little bits of mold growing, but the one you ignored was the worst. Can you believe it? Um, it was like black mold it, or it was just terrible. So let's see. Okay, so that's my lid with, so we just went in with um, Enthralled for the transition color and then the lid color is Lofty. And so now I'm going to um, go in with, uh, I think I'm going to do Impressive as another little in-between color. Actually, I think I want a smaller brush. I have so many brushes, I can't decide which one I want to use. They're so good. Um, okay, I'm gonna just put, this is going to sort of um, transition the two. We're going in the middle. And we're going to, do I have something hanging down? Yeah, I do. Push it up, push it up. So I went for my walk today. I couldn't take it out. I just couldn't take it without it anymore. So glad I did my makeup eyes first because I've already got fallout below. <laughs> um, it was smoky. You could definitely smell it and feel it. And I think it affected my throat a little bit. So I came in and I started my diffusers going. So if I'm clearing my throat a little bit or have to drink some water, forgive me. It's, um, I wonder how long it'll last. So is anybody doing anything exciting this weekend? Was, when do you take your flowers out? I, I did mine last night and my deck looks naked. But I was, they were so crispy. What do you think? I don't know, let me see are my lights. No, my lights aren't very good today. Maybe I need more light here. Oh, it'll be so nice when I'm by a window. So it's coming. Um, the natural light will be amazing. It'll be so great, great to have a spot just for this. This is such a pretty palette. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to take the crease brush and I'm going to go in with Audacious. And this is going to be for the outer corner just to frame the eye. So it also helps to not, um, draw your eye up. So I'm just going to do a small V. And go on the other side. And now I'll just take a blending brush and just blend it a little bit. It's a four colored palette day, right? One, two, three, four, yep. And now I'm going to, make sure, I'm going to take Calm and just put it under my brow. I think I'll even just put a little bit at the very inside, just up right in that area. Let's see if I got it even. Okay. What do you think? Your flowers are actually looking the best they have. Ah. Good for you. Yeah, well, we still have warm weather. I'm on the deck, and they were crispy. They were, like, brown and dried, and, and uh, there were some pretty ones in there, but it was just like, I'm done. <laughs> so it's so hot, stinking hot on my deck. So good for you. Yeah, enjoy them as long as you can. Do you probably get some partial shade? All right, so now we are going to do, you know what? I'm going to do liner today. Don't do it very often. I need, we need the practice. Um, this is, I've included this. It's the Dip and Draw liner, and I'm going to use, um, is it precious? It's black. Perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> so, it's really not hard. I always turn it up. <laughs> it won't come out. Don't worry. And so, just, I've been practicing. Getting, I've never worn eyeliner before, so it's, I mean, until I've started like a couple months ago, so I'm getting, slowly getting better. So I just do short, short strokes. Dashes. Oh, and keep your eyes open. I actually find that really, um, when you can see with both eyes, it makes a world of difference. And then I'm going to go a little wider when I get to the outer edge. And then join. It's called. <laughs> um, has anybody heard of face shaving? I'd never heard of that before. I mean, I know that, you know, people can shave their chin or their mustache area, but there is actually a product to shave your face. And it's apparently supposed to make your makeup apply better and even your skincare to better absorb. I'm gonna have to look into that. I know some say they're concerned that if they do that, it'll grow back in thicker or darker, but uh, I doubt it. I think when, if you have the hair, you have the hair. There we go. 
What do you think? The lighting is so crappy in here, isn't it? It's not better. It's not even good natural light. Welcome, Christy. I'm so glad you're here. Hello, gorgeous. So, uh, I actually, well, I'll do the, the rest less. So, let's go on to foundation. So, the kudos this month still is the awesome, awesome deal of a foundation. Or your choice of primer, foundation, and brush. Today, I, so I've been featuring a different foundation each time. So, today I'm going to do the stick foundation. This is probably the easiest. I know this, the spray one, the spray foundation is really easy too, but this one is so handy. You could even throw it in your car and do it in the car. Hi, Christy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So you, I just go on. I'm using the color Islet. I hope might be. I should have tested it to see if it's too soon. And I just dot it all over. Um, because you normally want to match your make your face foundation to your to your chest right here, and I do have one that's darker, a titch darker. But I was thinking it might be too dark. I could have done the two. You can use these, which maybe I'll do one time next time. Is use the lighter one in all of the areas, like as if you're con where you would do your bronzer, you would do the darker, and so you're contouring just with your two um, foundations. Dot it all over. Okay, and then go in with your brush. So I'm using the Kabuki brush. And just sort of start patting and blending. And and you can even do some little stippling. This the thing about stippling too is it does you do get a a more of a when you're blending, you're often just swirling your makeup around and you can get this you get uneven air, like the uneven coverage. But by stippling, you do get a really even application. And the reason why I did it after I did my eyes is because I had a little fallout. So this way I can get it all cleaned up. be cool if they did Facebook came up where you instead of typing texting you guys could talk back to me <laughs> seems so it's so quiet I know you're there it's like <laughs> I have something else to show you too um, that I I was I, I ordered this quite a while ago and it's been sitting and I just thought you know what? I want to do this so I thought, I'm gonna share it with you guys today. So then I have to do it, because I'm gonna show you how to, you know, what I'm doing. Okay, I'll just go down the neck. What I can do is take my con concealer, what is it, what's, I can't think of the word, powder concealer brush. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll just, rather than, sometimes I'll, um, rather than use a lighter concealer, I use, because I have bags, I don't wanna draw attention to that area of my face, so I don't usually go lighter. And um, they've released a new concealer, and mine is coming. We were just able to order it now. It should be available open to the public pretty soon here. So I'm just going to get in a little closer under my eye with my foundation. There. I meant to bring my concealer, but I forgot. It's in my bathroom. See, that's the trouble with bringing things back and forth. I think we're pretty much blended. I'm just going to make sure. Does anybody have any plans this weekend? Sadly, I'm not going anywhere. 
after last weekend. It was so much fun. I might think of something. I might come up with something. I want to do a wine tour before the season, but I have to wait. I want that's what it is. I would have done it this weekend, but we're waiting till the smoke is gone, and let's let's hope it's gone soon. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and do a little contouring with my blusher. I'm using again. I'm using the pressed powder foundation which I really, I really love it, love it, love it. Um, for, and I'm using the color Voil. Twill is another really good one for, uh, to use as a bronzer. You're a 25 mile bike ride? Oh, you have to video that girl. I wanna see that. Are you in a, a marathon? Have you done that before? My butt would be so sore. Good, you rock, <laughs> go girl. So I'm going to go in for uh, my tapered blusher brush and it's because it's a full coverage like foundation, I'm just going to use a very light touch and just go along my cheekbone at the very bottom of it. And add some. Oh my goodness, you're going to do a hundred mile, Christy's going to do a hundred mile great cycle challenge for the month of September. This month. Wow. What kind of bike do you use? A mountain bike? Christy, you've done the 14 mile right. Jumping to the, tw okay. How do, yeah, you're in Palmolive. <laughs> I guess, I guess. Oh, do you do it um, alone? Um, there was a bear sighting with two cubs right up where I live, so that made me nervous for going walking lately too. And I'm just gonna go along the side of my nose. I can even pinch it. Oh, to raise money for cancer, right on. I'm gonna be watching you. Will it be filmed on your site? Oh, Shelly, oh, lovely, oh. It's their anniversary. How many years? What are you making, Shell? Do you need any ideas? <laughs> From my cookbook? Did I tell you? Girls, I did a cookbook. Well, what it is, is when I moved here. You're taking your daughter and... ah, And my at work daughter. Oh, okay. Got you, gotcha. Good, you're not alone. Case, do you ever? Are you worried about running into bears? Sorry, I have to sniffles a little bit. I think the smoke affected me this morning because I had a I had a headache. Uh, that's not long. Oh, you okay? I want to see your recipe, girl. <laughs> She's making a brisket. Oh, I want that sounds that sounds amazing. Oh, I miss entertaining. I, you know, I I bought. See it right before cold. Okay, it's can't. It's right above my washer and dryer. I bought a raclette. <laughs> you love the wildlife. Well, the reason why I'm nervous, Christy, is because I was. Um, I don't know if you heard about the. Um, this would have been the year we moved to Dawson Creek was 97 and uh, we moved there oh I'm more trying to remember June 1st and then I think until August maybe August we went on a road trip with friends to Alaska we went to the Liard hot springs and I was so anxious to see the hanging gardens I heard they were just beautiful so I'm just going along just like under my edge not on my face, but under, and then brushing it down. I know because the hot, the camera is so high up to make that recede. Okay, 
and this will get blended out a bit more. So now we're on to blush. What am I using today? Seducta. Oh, I guess I should open this so you can see. You're married to a crumpy, <laughs> crumpy old bear. Oh yeah, so you're you're seasoned. You don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna use seductive today. Well, I was traumatized because um, when we got there, well, when we got there, we were we were tenting it, and our friends couldn't afford to stay in a hotel. So we said that's not a problem with us. We love camping. We are not gonna hotel it either. Even though, like, I'm a princess and I can do really well in a hotel. Um, but we just said, no, we, I, I can do, I can do fancy and I can do roughing it. Not a problem. So you like the blush? Yes, I like the blush for foundation. Never a sponge? Oh, the brush, you mean? I mean, do I like, yes. I, I only use the sponge when I'm doing the BB cream. But I do like to use the sponge. I wet it and dab it. And, and pat it after when it's all on and camping Alaska I love you more <laughs> well I used to camp up in the Northwest Territories total like wild 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 I, I'll never forget when our friend our family came up to visit me and my husband he went to the um, the band and asked if we could go to the, their beach they had a, a beach so that we'd have a private beach we made this big meal we took them boated them all out to the spot and they all went where's the picnic tables where's the outhouses and they were so unhappy I'm <laughs> sorry to I'm ratting on my family but they were so they were not accustomed to like wild you know just roughing it so we had to pack everybody up and we took them to a campground it was just like people all around and they were happy <laughs> it's like I love the wild when there's not a soul around so, uh, so, but anyway, back to the Liard Hot Springs. Oh, um, so I'd heard that these gardens were amazing and I, I just really wanted to get there. And so as soon as we got there, I said, you know what? Well, and I was in agony. <laughs> I had a fissure. This is a little too much information. So, I mean, part of the trip, I was like, I couldn't even sit. I was squatting on the bottom of the truck. I couldn't even sit. I was in so much pain. So I was so anxious to get to the hot springs, but I wanted to see, yeah, oh, you need a, you need a toilet. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm good with the wild. I'm good with the, with the shovel. And <laughs> so when, um, now where was I? Oh yeah, so we, we took our family to the campground and they were happy, yeah, to sit at a table. And I mean, yeah, it's, it is nice. I mean, I'm, now I was like, got to the point where like, I'm, I'm wanting to do the, <laughs> the hotel and spa, but I can do both. I can do both. We have, I have fun with both. All right, what are we on to now? Um, oh, I'm gonna do a little bit of, where is it here? I'm gonna use proper, which is the color brown liner, and I'm gonna just add a little bit in my lower water line, just because it's gonna bring down a little bit of the um, color to the bottom. So I was so anxious to see these get in the hot springs, but I wanted to see the hanging gardens first. And they were supposed to be like, like Bouchard garden gorgeous. So I'm just putting a little bit of the soft brown, eh? In my liner, eh? <laughs> and, see, I don't know if I wanna go all the way. If you have small eyes, which maybe I do, you can avoid this. Just want to frame them a bit. Now I'm gonna go in, what am I missing? With my beloved, it is beloved, setting powder to set and blend. So I had, we wanted to go there so bad. And when we got there, it was just misting, not raining, misting. So when we, we they pulled in ahead of us and then they drove around the, the looking for camp spots and then they, they pulled up beside us and they said, rolled down the window and they said, we wanna check into a hotel. And I was like, this is odd. So 
So we went, sure, fine. So we went to a hotel, checked in, and, you know, everyone was, you know, taking their turns using the washroom. And meanwhile, the guys turned the TV on and were laying on the bed and we're watching TV. And I was like, okay, hey, come on, guys. You know, like we were on the road again the next day. We were burning, we were burning up our time to be at the hot springs. And I couldn't seem to budge anybody. We were, I, I don't understand it. They were napping, they were visiting. And we just couldn't figure out why we, why are we delaying? Why are we delaying? So when we finally decided to get down there, there were screaming. And this was when the bear attack happened. So had we gone straight there, that would have been me. I would have been right where the attack happened. It was at the road, the hanging gardens. And a woman was attacked. No, her son was attacked. You wanna know who's, which the family is? Um, which family? Oh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it'll cost you. <laughs> uh, so we, uh, yeah, we, that would have been us because we, the they attacked they attacked the son. So the woman was trying to protect her son, and the attack went on her. And then meanwhile, uh, the scre they were screaming, and then a man came, who was from Dawson, and he. It attacked, then he was trying to get the bear off. Like nobody had a gun. There's no, um, there was no personnel there from the the hot springs, and so that man got decapitated. Uh, the woman, my husband and my friend, worked. You know, were brought brought her out, and uh, they used my friend's truck, and they were doing CPR on her. But and then my husband was wouldn't want didn't want me to see. Um, so he, they were helping, they were part of the medical team and they had to work quite a while, but the, I mean, she had so many, she was so many holes that I, he came and got all of our saran wrap. Like we were just trying to do whatever they could. It was traumatizing and she didn't make it. And also then a fourth man, meanwhile, ran back to his, no, he went to help the, after the, he was the fourth guy. And the bear attacked him. He almost didn't make it too. He, um, they interviewed him, um, and he is, was went through years of therapy to walk again, and um, probably emotionally. And the, so the only the little boy and the fourth guy lived. The woman, the mother, and the third guy did not make it. And then a fifth guy ran to his truck. Meanwhile, got his gun and brought it back, which is like a mile and a quarter, you know, to your vehicles where you park. So now I'm going to use some pearly little highlighter, if I can get it open, and my fan brush. And I'm just gonna give this a little sun kiss look. So, you know, it was really sad. So we were, it was, uh, you know, it hit me hard because that would have been me. Yeah, it was very, it was excru excruciating. And when we finally did go back into the hot springs, the, a lady was, was there and she was watching um, was her brother and her mother. So, you know, they were from Texas. They, I think it split up and they were doing a move and she was moving her kids up to Alaska. And it's so sad. So you always wonder what happened to that little girl. But the mother, this other lady that was looking after the little girl, because the, the mother and the son wanted to go see the hot springs or the son wanted to go up to the higher hot springs. So she went with him and it's at the rose it's at the hanging gardens where it happened so that would have been me that would have been us or at least my husband and I and so you know you just ever since that's when we sold our sold our tents and we bought a trailer <laughs> and it was no going back I would not go back to tent anymore okay and a little bit on the cupid's bow What am I missing? Oh, brows, brows, ah, brows. Palette six, you can do your brows. Yes, I, these, so the ones that we did, the, as a transition color in the outer corner, enthralled and audacious, are the ones that you can use for your brows. So, I'm using the brow brush. Now, you see, I didn't include this one in the thing, but you can, when, if you, 
click the link, you can remove and add whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to use the angled side, and I'm going to go in with the audacious, the darker one. And this that's what I mean. This is perfect to take on a trip because this is all you need for brows and eyeshadow. And I'm going to line. It's beautiful and so easy. It stays on. Oh, by the way, the eyeliner is waterproof. Just thought you'd want to know that. So it's not going to smudge, budge. This is such a cool. And now I'm going to go in with the lighter brown, um, <clears throat> enthralled. Second one for a little bit of an ombre. Brows are sisters, not twins. And mine definitely, yeah. Everyone's one side of the face is different. Do you ever cover one side of your face and you look and you go, that looks so much younger, and then you look at the other one and it's more droopy? <laughs> I want this side to look like that side. <laughs> have to tell me how your supper goes, Shelly. You're such a good cook. I used to be. I feel like it's a lost art. Ombre, yeah, that's it. Of course, mine are already sort of tattooed in, but they are fading. This just revives them. And now I'm going to use Enthralled for the front. lost art on on you what is a uh, brows easy easy peasy it's just practice it's just practice there you go all from palette six <laughs> it's the best it's the best i love this palette all right so now we are on to i'm still doing the twisted <laughs> I don't believe it, Christy. I don't believe it that you're not a good cook. You need my cookbook. So about my cookbook, when I moved, I sold my house and I used to be, I mean, my family did call me a Martha Stewart. I loved entertaining, cooking, you know, being the homemaker, doing everything. Master, what is it they say? Um, oh, can't think of the saying where you are Jack of all trades, you know, but master of none. Is that the same? I think so. So I'm going in with the twisted has the smaller wand, which I just love. Oh, you know what I need to do? Because I used eyeliner, I'm going to just comb out my lashes because if I touched my lashes, they can be stuck. Just making sure that I don't have any liner stuck on them. Okay, hopefully they're good. And this is separates, well, actually just sort of coats all of those fine little hairs and wakes them up. It says, come on, you're gonna shine today. I ordered something, girls. I don't know if you... Oh, good. Please come back, Christy. <laughs> we'll miss you. Um, I ordered something today, or yesterday. And I don't know if... You'll have to tell me if you heard anything about it or if it's any good. I saw a lady doing... Well, it's really funny. She, she, I thought she was putting mascara on, so she went like this. 
and I thought, keep going, <laughs> keep going. And it was a heated curler. She would, so you know how, so after I got my lashes, I used to have a really nice natural curve. And after I have my lashes extensions taken off, I lost the curve, they're straight. And I don't like using the little lash curler because I pinch my skin. Master of none, yeah, that's it, Christy. And so um, this thing, I guess you hold it at the base and it's like it'll just lift. So I ordered one. <laughs> I'll have to do it with you girls. So I will do it, I will do it. Is that cheating if I use a lash curler? It's gonna be heated lash curler. Oh, gonna miss you girls. So yeah. All right, back to business, right? You probably all have things to do. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're enjoying this and getting some value out of this. I know I'm having fun. Oh, thank you, Shelly. I'm so glad you like it. Oh yes, that's what I'm gonna tell you about my, tell them about my cookbook. So when I moved here, I don't know if you know this, the reason why I did this is because when I sold all my cookbooks, I had a whole cupboard, whole cupboard of cookbooks. And I had a system. I went one day um, and photocopied each of the indexes of every cookbook that I had, went and laminated them, bound them, so that when I wanted to cook something, I didn't have to drag out the cookbooks. I just grabbed these indexes and went flip, 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 flip. Oh, okay, it's on that book, on that page. And and I, because I had a lot of them, I had them highlighted. I mean, <laughs> is that Martha Stewart or what, right? Organized or what? So when I got rid of all of these cookbooks, I had to get rid of all of my laminated sheets. So I only kept one set or a couple sets of cookbooks. That was it, not much. And I realized I lost a lot of recipes that I always went to. They were in those cookbooks. Good morning, Luann, welcome. Annette, I'm so glad. Hello, gorgeous, hello, gorgeous, both of you. You'll have to catch the replay because I tell a story about why it's important that we tell each other wonderful, beautiful things like hello, gorgeous. So I got rid of all of these cookbooks. So what I did is I, this, I was frustrated because here I am and I was thinking I'm already losing you know, you, you want to cook something and it's like, I, I have a really good recipe and I don't remember because I don't see it. I used to go know right where it was and now that's taken away from me. So I scrounged and started putting together all of my recipes that were my go-tos for my whole, basically my married life. I could, I mean, I couldn't fit them all in the cookbook. I have tons more, but that's why I did the cookbook. I started put together all of my go-to recipes, tried and true, tried and true, for whether they were from a cookbook or whether they were from my own creations or whether they were from family. And combined it in a cookbook. And it was supposed to be just for me. Well, when I went last December, oh, I want my small one. When I went last December up north, you know, and I'm talking about it, to my friends and to my cousin, they wanted one. And they just said, no, we'll buy one. We, we will buy one. And I said, well, I didn't know how to tell them this, but it's just, it's just for me. I thought, is that being selfish? And uh, so I didn't say anything, but I, and then the word was getting around and I just thought, okay, go ahead and share it. Cause I, I had decided I was gonna do it for my girls too, as a gift for them. Because it brings back, these are the recipes I cooked for them when I married Ken. So that's my cookbook and I am so darn proud of it. Hello, gorgeous. So glad you're here, Annette and, and Luann. We did, we did a comeback with the palette six. You'll have to catch the replay. It's the one you want. And they found some stock inventory. And so once this is gone, it's gone. And it is the one you want. And I even did my brows with it. Okay. I'm so, <laughs> hey, oh, all my favorite people are on here. Welcome, hello gorgeous, my sister Ethel's on, yay. Oh, I love it. I can see all my favorite people. <laughs> We're doing lashes with the twisted mascara. So now I'm coming in with a bigger wand, which will 
sticking it up. I should, I have to go back and pull out my 4D, which I love. But I just love, I think what I love about the, it, this is the small wand. So much. And it also has ingredients in it that promote lash growth. So that's why my lashes, I think, are doing better. And I also, well, they have an eyelash primer, which I haven't used lately, which also conditions your lashes. So you put it on before you put your mascara on. And then they also have a serum, which I put on at night. So they are doing, like, I'm pleased with how they look. Cut my hair, you know, if you still saw that. I know, I wasn't going to do it. But I, it looks good when you first wash it and blow dry it. And then after you sleep on it, you know, it's thin. And I'm not used to, I'm not used to, because I had such thick hair that I could never see daylight through my hair. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I have to go out, she says. I know, this was an inside day. I don't even know what I'm going to do today. I have to do something. I have to call up a friend. We'll go for coffee. Welcome, Denise. I'm so pleased to see you. Hashtag hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous to you. So I'm just on to... Am I on too early, girls? Would you rather I come on? It's 10 my time when I started. So would that be 11 for you in Alberta? Do you want me to start at 11? Um, I actually was ready at 9.30 this morning. And then it took me forever to find the live button. <laughs> you can only stay briefly. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Well, we'll miss you. Come back, come back. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, oh, I touched my eye. Okay. And if, you're, if your things start getting a little thick, just take your brush and wash it. Like your face brushes, they need to be washed too. And so wash it under hot water and it'll just spruce up. So one, yeah, I think I will call a friend to go for coffee. We have to do something safe. All right, I'll quit. I could go on, I could keep building. You, it's buildable, but I'll quit. So what am I missing? <gasps> Lips. All right, the other comeback is, so, where are they? Here they are. I, these are the, the liquid shadows or the liquid Moodstruck liquid lipsticks. Splash liquid lipsticks, that's what they are. And I pulled the three neutrals, um, which I think I wore the last time subtle, or not the time before, subtle, which is a, a favorite totally to actually all three of these are really a favorite successful a little bit deeper they're all in the pinky tones and snarky and the one that is more like a tan peach nude came back and it's called sympathetic and I, i've got it on order <laughs> it's coming and i would have used it today but i had i put it in the link because i you, you you'll want to grab it because it's it's been out of stock since I've been here and now it's came on it's just like okay <laughs> so I'm going to use and this one now snarky is out of stock but I'm going to use snarky because I've already done subtle and so I have a more of a glam eye so we're going to do a softer a new more neutral uh, oh I was going to bring some concealer let me just oh well touch that. it's fading my cold sore isn't it okay all right so I'm going to use Snarky. Let's see, am I missing anything? And it's a, a rose. A, a rose. It's a pretty color. And I'll also show you what you can do, something else you can do. Funny, you can't talk and put lipstick on, eh? So my lips, or my cookbook, I called Seasoned with Love. 
and at the back it has a picture of me with a coffee cup just my eyes you see and at the back it's a picture of me on the deck with a gin and tonic and it's called and a, and a dash of spice um, but I'm just so pleased with it and it's pictures of Ken and I cooking or whatever our life This color goes really nicely. Well, the peachy one might have been better with what I'm wearing today. But it's coming. Now, you can, I could go back for a second coat, but I won't. Oh, it's a little low on one side. This is an amazing lipstick. And it stays. Okay. I think I got a white spot there. I think I wiped it off. Okay. So if you put a lipstick on and you think it's too dark, and I showed this trick too, is you take some concealer. And this also, if you want to just make your lips look a little fatter, put the concealer just in the center and it, it will lighten that area. And remember, darkness recedes, lighter it brings forward. And so that will make your um, lips look plumper. And if it's too dark, just blend in concealer on your whole lip. So where's my lip brush? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on my hand so I can control it. And I have a lip brush, there we go. And I'm just gonna, I'll do one side. I put on a dark, well I thought it was gonna be a rose pink and it was more of a red and so I did this and it was beautiful except I got my didn't get it I think I got the water instead there's the concealer there we go but it's especially good on dark colors oops So we just sort of made that a pinky nude. Not amazing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it with a little bit of setting powder. Okay. You could put some gloss up. I think I'm going to leave it matte today. Put some setting spray. get all those angles. Okay, Luann, <laughs> do you want to go for coffee? <laughs> all right, there we go. There's the look for today.
What do you think? It's so pretty, palette six. No, oh, the lighting is terrible, I'm sorry. So, so pretty. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> now onto the clothes. Okay, I'll have to show you what I'm wearing today. It's really cute. Again, from Pretty Cute Things. I love uh, how she's got a variety of, such a variety of tops where they mix different patterns and it just makes it, doesn't it? And so this is a really cute little pe uh, peasant type top and because it's off the shoulder um, and I, I'm looking for a good comfortable bandeau bra and I did order some but I didn't order the right size so I'm gonna have to reorder it again. But I just wore my beautiful little bralettes which I just adore. And uh, you can see from the back and I paired it with her skinny jeans. And <laughs> I'm not a skinny jean girl. I always think you gotta have beautiful legs, but these are, they're high, which is perfect because they hold your belly, they're stretchy, so comfortable. I feel like I'm in, in my sweats. And so there you have it. That's my, my adorable, adorable clothes, which I love to go with my makeup, the new me. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you. So just before you go, I got this teeth whitening kit by Olu. I'm gonna try it out, so I'll, I'll, let it, I'll do it with you. I'm gonna do the ugly with you girls. So that's it for today. Um, I've included the links for this, uh, the, the bundle, the, the today's look I only include was the palette six and the lip, sympathetic, as well as a few other things. And then also the brushes, which you can take or, take or leave it, whatever. And then the code for the clothes is, use the code, uh, discount code L20, E-L20 to get 20% off and check out her sale items. Oh, thank you, Annette. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You do too, girl. You're amazing. I can hardly wait to see you when you get your kit. You're gonna have so much fun playing. We'll take care. So, you guys have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you back here in my utility room <laughs> next week on Tuesday. Uh, take care, bye-bye.